from BSN 111H and today I am going to demonstrate a hand gloving technique return demonstration. Now to formally start let us first know what is the definition of a gloves. So a glove is a protective barrier made up of latex or synthetic material such as nitrile or vinyl that is used to prevent the possible transmission of diseases between healthcare professionals and patients during examination and procedures. Now, there are six purposes of gloving. The first one, gloves create a barrier between germs and your hands. Second one, wearing gloves helps protect both patients and healthcare workers from the infection. The third one, wearing gloves in the hospital helps prevent the spread of germs um, from one person to another. Fourth one, it helps keep your hands clean and lessen your chance of getting germs that can make you sick. The fifth one, it helps to reduce the risk of contamination of healthcare workers' hands with blood and other body fluids. And the last one, it helps to reduce the risk of germ dissemination to the environment and transmission from the healthcare worker to the patient and vice versa, as well as one patient to another. Now, there are safety considerations. The first one, you have to choose the right size of gloves. Gloves come in a multiple sizes. Make sure that the gloves are tight, um, tight enough so that objects are easy to pick up. Now, the second one, sterile gloving does not replace hand washing. Hands must be washed before and after the procedure. Um, the last one, gather all the supplies and prepare the things needed prior to conducting the procedure. Okay, so prior to performing the hand gloving, perform a hand hygiene first um, and observe other inappropriate infection prevention procedures. This is done because it decreases the bacterial count on um, hands and prevents contamination of sterile equipment. Okay, so um, the equipments to be used need to be complete um, in order for us to do the hand gloving technique. Um, the first one is the package of a sterile gloves. The second one is um, a table with a clean and dry surface. And the third one, a trash can where we can put the used gloves. So preparation, ensure the sterility of the package of the gloves. So now I am ensuring sterility of the gloves. Okay, and uh, now remove all the jewelry. So I already removed the jewelry um, because I already did the hand washing. And no artificial nails, extenders, or chip nail polish should be worn. And the last one, inspect hands for sores and abrasions. Cover or report first. Um, cover or report to supervisor as required. Now. Open the package of the sterile gloves without contaminating the inner package. And after that, place the package of gloves in a clean and dry surface. So I am now peeling the sterile glove. Okay, make sure that um, the sterile gloves is in okay. Okay. This is done because any moisture on the surface could contaminate the gloves. Now, some gloves are packed in an inner as well as an outer package. Open the outer package without contaminating the gloves or the inner package. Remove the inner package from the outer package. Okay, so open the inner package according to the manufacturer's direction. Some manufacturer, manufacturers 
Rather, provide a numbered sequence for opening the flaps and folded tabs to grasp for opening the flaps. If no tabs are provided, pluck the flap so that the fingers do not touch the inner surfaces. This is done because the inner surfaces which are next to the sterile gloves will remain sterile. Okay. Now I am opening, so this is the left for the dominant hand and right for the uh, left for the non-dominant hand and left, right, left for the non-dominant hand and right for the dominant hand. Okay, make sure to open it. Now put the first glove on the dominant hand. Pick up glove for dominant hand by touching the inside cuff of the glove. Do not touch the outside of the glove. Pull glove completely over dominant hand. If the gloves are packed so that they lie side by side, grasp the glove for the dominant hand by its folded cuff edge with the thumb and first finger of the non-dominant hand. Touch only the inside of the cuff. Okay, so I am now putting my fingers okay this is done because the hands are not sterile by touching only the inside of the glove the nurses avoids contaminating the outside leave the cuff in place once the unsterile hand releases the glove because this is done because attempting to further unfold the glove is likely to contaminate the glove okay now, put the second glove on the non-dominant hand. Pick up the gloves with the sterile gloved hand, inserting the gloved fingers under the cuff and holding the glove thumb close to the glove palm. Okay. Now, I am inserting my fingers on the non-dominant um, gloved, sterile glove. Now, Pull on the second glove carefully. Hold the thumb um, of the glove first hands um, as possible, as far as possible from the palm. This is done because in this position, the thumb is likely to touch arm or touch the arm and become contaminated. Now, since I already put the um, sterile glove hands, Adjust each glove so that it fits smoothly and carefully pull the cuffs by sliding the fingers under the cuffs. Okay. This is done because it protects your glove fingers to maintain its sterility. Sterile touching sterile only to prevent contamination. Okay. Once gloves are on, Interlock gloved hands and keep at least six inches away from clothing. Keeping hands glove, um, keeping hands above waist level and below the shoulders. This is done because this step prevents the accidental touching of non-sterile objects or the front of the gown or contamination. Now, since I already, I'm already done interlocking it, you have to remove and dispose the used gloves. To remove glove, gloves, rather, grasp the outside of the cuff or palm or um, palm of glove and gently pull the glove off, turning it inside out and placing it into the gloved hand, which is here. Doing this prevent the contamination of the hand when removing glove. Now, take and gloved hand, slide fingers, um, inside the remaining gloved hand and pull off, um, pull glove off by turning it inside out over hand. Um, this step, okay, so I am now putting or sliding my fingers on the cuff, inside cuff rather. This step prevents the contamination of gloved hand touching ungloved hand. Okay, now discard used gloves inside of the wrapper. And we have to fold the wrapper. After folding the wrapper, put it to the proper receptacle or the appropriate inappropriate in an appropriate container. Okay. Since we are done, we have to perform hand hygiene because as I mentioned, um, doing a hand gloving um, 
performing before and after hand hygiene is important because this um this technique removes powder from the gloves which can irritate the skin it also prevents contamination from potential pinholes in the gloves since now we are done i just put it on the proper receptacle um that is all for my video and thank you for watching and god bless us all